hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in adobe after effect let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is also 30 and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection press ctrl y to create one solid background and simply hit ok and we will lock this layer then i'm going to select my text tool and i'm going to choose poppins font over here and all caps and I'm going to type my text now select this text and let's de uh, decrease the distance between this alphabet select this motion and we are going to increase the size of this motion select this graphic text and increase the size of this graphics select this motion and let's decrease the distance between this words now select this and let's move this over here and we will increase the size of this text also and let's adjust it over here like this now select this text hit ctrl d select the second layer and we are going to delete this fill we don't need that and we are going to choose black color for the stroke select this and let's try to move this over here with the help of down arrow keys and with the help of some weird around arrow keys we will adjust it like this okay so this is our text and then after that i'm going to select my text tool and over here let's delete this stroke and we are going to choose black color and we will decrease the font size and we will type this text again okay let's reduce the distance between alphabets decrease the font size and we will copy this text we will hit tab two times and hit ctrl v okay i'll copy this text again all of this and let's go to the last hit tab two time again and hit ctrl v again now select this text uh, and go to the rectangle uh, and make sure to select this text and we will create one mask like this okay then go to the text options go to the path options and in path we are going to choose mask over here and we will increase uh, enable this force alignment so it will properly align this like this okay so it's not change this option so this is how we will get this then select this and if you want uh, then you can choose reverse path also so it will go outwards like this so it's totally up to you and if you want to adjust you can simply select this mask points and you can adjust it according to your needs like i am adjusting over here okay like this then select all of this and press ctrl shift c and we are going to call it as let's say animation or not animation we will call it as <coughs> template okay so this is how we will get okay so this is our template now we are going to create mask so let's select this template and then uh, select our text tool not text tool but a rectangle selection tool and we are going to create one mask on it like this okay then select this uh, and press m to select the mask path options and create one keyframe then hit ctrl k to open the project settings and over here change the background to red then select this hit ctrl d hit u and click on this icon uh, i mean this keyframe and then press v and double click on this one so you can by holding shift select this mask and you can adjust it properly like this 
okay let's make this fit and you can delete uh, remove this title safe action so you can see uh, whether there is a gap between this or not and with the help of arrow keys you can adjust that then select this hit ctrl d hit u select this and double click on this mask uh, you can adjust this like this so we have to follow this procedure again and again until unless we are going to cover our entire composition with this kind of stuff make sure that there should be no gap so we will get proper animation okay so this is how we will get simply select all of them and press ctrl alt home to align their respective anchor point at the center and convert this layer into 3d like this now let's select any one of them for example let's select this one and we will enable this icon and press r for rotation and we are going to create one keyframe at y zoom in a little bit and let's go to around 20 frames and first we will rotate it like this or let's say rotate it like this so let's say minus 45 or let's say minus 55 select those keyframe and hit f9 then go to around 1.20 frames and we are going to rotate it somewhere around like this okay plus 80 so it's a proper thing so if i see this animation i'll get something like this then select this and by holding alt we will bring this thing up to one second so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this okay then we will copy this keyframes and hit ctrl c i mean select this keyframe and hit ctrl c to copy and then simply select all of them and hit ctrl v select all remaining layers and hit ctrl v so if you see this animation now we are getting something like this but as you guys can see uh, only this one is properly you know thin so we need to make each and every one thin so for that what you can do select this start with this layer first and we will increase this value so it will become properly thin like this okay and now uh, the after that we need to adjust them one by one so let's go to around one second maybe select all of them let's go to around last frames and select all the last frame and make sure that they should properly at one second okay like this and hit u and now uh, animation should start from here so let's go to the downwards select uh, this keyframe and hit ctrl x and hit ctrl v and hit page down button three times or uh, you can take a distance of 10 frames or let's say five frames okay each and select this y rotation hit ctrl x hit ctrl v and uh, so basically we are going to take a distance of five five frames
like this okay so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this and uh, each and every animation should stop at the this keyframe so simply hold alt and open square uh, close square bracket same for this one same for this one okay so make sure to select all of these layers like this okay and simply select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we are going to call it as animation and hit u now double click to open this select this topmost layer hit u and let's see where is the last keyframe and go to the main animation so as you guys can see my animation is ending over here so i'll hold alt close bracket and we will close this so as you guys know that animation is starting from this point so i'll select this animation comp and hit ctrl d i'll select the second layer and i'll move this over here like this okay but if you see over here it's taking too much time so what uh, i mean it's starting early so let's do one thing we'll delete this and select all of them and hit u first of all let's do we need to do one thing press m and we are going to delete this mask keyframes not mask uh, but keyframes that we have given and then hit u and right now if you see this uh, our animation is starting from one second so let's do one thing select all of these keyframes and we will simply shift it towards two seconds maybe so animation should start from here I'm from two seconds so I'll move this over here and let's increase the duration of this compositions up to the last keyframes okay so I'll go to around two seconds I'll select this main animation I'll hit ctrl D and I'll select the second one and I'll move this over here and double click to open this let's see where is the last keyframe which is around over here go to the main animation select this and we will move this up to this layer okay let's delete this select this first layer hit ctrl d select the second layer and simply move this up to this okay like this similarly uh, we are going to take a distance of two two frames so first of all select this second layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect to apply and we will swap this color like this okay then select this first layer hit ctrl d bring this at the bottom go to around four second and move this over here select this second layer again hit ctrl d bring this downwards go to around six second and move this over here so now i'm going to go around two seconds and i'll hit b over here so animation should start from here like this and uh, instead of that let's select this third layer and this second i mean fourth layer hit ctrl d bring both of them downwards and let's go to around eight seconds and we will move them over here okay so our animation should start from this one so i'll hit b over here and then let's see like this and animation should uh, end at this point so hit n over here so now if you see this animation we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop okay and we will select our first layer we will go to the effect and presets panel or select the second layer first over here because we are here select this second layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect to apply increase the distance to 20 increase the softness to 100 like this select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c select all of this remaining layers and hit ctrl v okay so if you see this now we are gonna get this kind of animation over here so this is how you can create this kind of continuous looping animation or you can say creative text animation inside of after effects